Hello, I'm here. I exist. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. Was on my way back from groceries. No problem at all, though. Uh, it is time for Handelabra Live, aka Sentinels Live, today. Uh, I am John, aka Migrant P, lead developer at Handelabra Games, and we have a big, exciting week this week. Uh, as you may or may not know, Sentinels of Earth Prime is coming to Kickstarter this Thursday. I'm going to put the link into the chat. It's true. I do exist. And Takewalker, it's going to be Krista on the Twitter if something's going on. Krista is our Twitterista. Yeah, July 28th, visit that link and click notify me on launch like I should do. Boop. We'll email you when this project launches so you can be one of the first backers. Uh, yeah, check out this sweet artwork. Uh, should I show you like another another drawing? What's another drawing you haven't seen? Any requests? From Sparky Wolf, Take Walker, anyone else in the chat? Tell me a character you want to see a drawing of from Earth Prime and I will see if we can give you a spoiler alert. Hades. Hades. Hades is cool. Malador is not there yet. Uh, because Hades is uh, sorry, Malador is expansion. I'm just trying to, I'm looking at a thing. Uh, this is Hades being on his villain turn on his front side. Pretty cool. How about a hero? Let's look at Siren. Uh, actually, the, I was looking at the old. That might that, that was still a good a good image. But let's look at the Siren. Siren. Siren looking cool. Drawn by our very own Jennifer Green. Uh, pretty nice. That was her first pick for a character to draw. All right, you will see those and many more uh, in the game uh, once we can make it, if it gets kickstarted. So yeah, uh, we have a lot of artists uh, working on the game, uh, like more than six, or this is like seven or eight, um, and uh, they're doing a great job, but we need to pay them. And so it will help a lot if you can all back the Kickstarter. Uh, I will, of course, mention that Hand Labor Games believes in civil rights for everyone and in being as inclusive as possible. Uh, so be excellent to one another. Or you will be removed. Uh, I am drinking some thing from Prince Edward Island. I was on PEI over the weekend. And I brought back, as I often do, loot. And I am making a mess, as I often do. I'll be right back. Spilled all over myself with the foam. BRB. Luckily, it won't be sticky because this is sugar-free uh, blood orange grapefruit vodka sparkling water from Upstreet. I had their watermelon when I was there, and it was really nice, so I picked up a bunch of different ones. Yeah. But it's like a seltzer with blood orange grapefruit flavor. That's nice. Probably have a beer next. All right. So 
Let's play some Sentinels because it's Sentinels week here. What type of towel? A kitchen towel. One with preferably Harry Coos from Scotland. <laughs> so if I go into new game, actually you can see the cross compatibility at work here. Here's all our Sentinels heroes, but our villains. I also have Earth Prime installed, the development version. And so I have access to the villains uh, and the heroes and the environments. Uh, these are not final, the graphics here, but uh, that is what you will see in your game just by having the other game installed and it pulls the resources over. So we can, this is still, you can see there's some glitchy looking graphics here, but uh, we're working on that. But you pull up the full card, that's drawing the, the resources from the other game. Flip side. So we haven't got the fonts in and stuff like that yet, but it's a little bit of preview there. We're not going to play them tonight, but we will be demoing. They don't have foil. No, that's, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Makes it blank. Yeah, that will be, that button will be removed. There's no foil. But perhaps there could be a stretch goal, stretch goal, stretch goal for foil. Stretch foil goyle. Yeah. Could happen. We'll see. The more funding, the more cool ideas we can bring into it. All right. So let's just press random. Or do you want to play like Oblivion or something? I'm going to play Oblivion. And, but we're not going to play with Fireside City or the Raven. Let's click random again. I'm not going to play with Fireside City. Random again. It really wants Fireside City. Court of Blood. And I don't like having three heroes. So let's just random until we get more heroes. No. Four heroes, but not Johnny Rocket. <laughs> no. Try again. I don't have a button to like turn off. Earth Prime. Oh, wait, crap. All right. No, give me more heroes. Okay. We have four heroes. <laughs> and Rook City. Goyle, Foil, Moyle. <laughs> no, there's no Moyle involved. That is not a good idea. Yeah, let's go with Blavion. Random, four heroes. And we won't press random on the hero replacement. I guess we can, but if it's Earth Prime, then we won't bring them in. They're not ready yet. Gargoyle. I like it. It's progeny. Just like the weekly one shot. Yeah, I'm super excited about Earth Prime, by the way. Like, I don't, if you've not seen the game in person, like, the cards are really pretty. Like, the borderless style. Both sides of the character cards are super nice. The villain cards are these big landscape cards. Like, they, they're like Scion card style, basically. Or team villain. Uh, super nice. And the regular cards look kind of like that with big art that goes all the way to the edge. Really readable font, nice highlighting and stuff. We're gonna have, it's gonna look great. And we're gonna be, the whole game is gonna be designed within that idea. So um, it's gonna be a separate game and the UI of the game will be tailored to Earth Prime uh, and Mutants and Masterminds, so yeah. Well, Sparky will bust, it, bust out the cards and look at them, at least, if you haven't. All right, so Oblivion didn't do anything. What did he play? Yeah, he played Focus of Power, so that's why he didn't do anything. And we've got Arc of Unreality, which is the, sh the shield we need to move into the battle zone. So we kind of want to leave and come back and all that. Um, and we got Imperion. So we may as well all leave and try to come back. It's usually the way of things. To hope for the dawn.
but next from the Mechanite. Well, you have looked and organized. Cool. Yeah, mine are all in the big box of Sentinels. The collector's case. Uh, so, Harpy, we don't really have any objective here except getting rid of focus of power, ideally. And probably taking out the Anlocus is important. Uh, wow. I hope you like Shard Strength, because we got Shard Strength. Uh, we also have External Combustion. That could be good for clearing out some Eon Men. We don't have any ongoing destruction, so we're not able to get rid of Focus of Power unless we happen to get it from this. And we even have, I guess, Mainstay has a card that destroys an ongoing, right? Yeah, kick the tires. And Harpy does... I like what, that we have icons. Oh, she actually doesn't. Well, she does, but it has to, like, get to the start of return. So it's actually, like, one chance. Uh, this deals each and on her target. I can flip a token here. I could just put out Hugin and Mugen. Mugen, no, no, no. Yeah, I don't think I want... I guess Arcane Explosion is pretty good here because it only hurts her right now. Sure. And, of course, Imperion's going to go off as well. But, yeah, we'll clear the field of Aeon Men at least. Actually, like, almost right now we clear the field of Aeon Men. Like, we actually do clear the field of Aeon Men. Well, we'll hit Imperion because he's already been damaged this turn. Bergen or Mergen. <laughs> what was going to be returned to hand? Oh, Hope for the Dawn. Like, who was talking about that? That should have had the card source for that message. To tell me what was what was going on with it. Oh, I have to I have to do the prediction, sorry. Sparky Wolf. Will is there an old prediction about Oblivion? Will I beat OA? Yes, no. Alright, five minutes. I'll get, make it easy for everyone to jump in and vote. You got five minutes. Five minutes. Do I even hit Aeon Warrior? Can someone do one damage to him? Like, no? I guess we, we punch Aeon Warrior. I guess if I, if I hit Imperion, he kills the Aeon Warrior. <laughs> All right, let's just do that. We take a little bit of damage, but it's not that much. And actually, Mainstay doesn't. Yeah. Cool. May as well draw some free cards. 100% say that I will lose. Someone say that I'll win and you will get a lot of points. You still have time. Take on Create Contraption, sure. Then I guess I'm just gonna like play Black Cannon. I could play Gatling Gun and like use it to discard cards, sure. Someone should vote I should win. Uh, the Harpy, Tenuous Focus. Mainstay, Mono a Mono, not a great card. Ammo drop, we don't get to pick. I think it's the Harpy. Mystical Outburst. If I discard it, flip back. Well, it's not going to do anything. So, trash it. And no one's going to discard, pay to discard for this. Let's just discard this. Gets us a token. Second battle zone. Wow, we're not having the great objectives here to start or luck with them. Uh, we don't need... Any of these things. We could do experimental medicine. We could 
grab preventative care. So like the harpy who's lower. Sure. And I guess we'll play experimental medicine. And let's give the heal boost to the harpy. She just got hit by herself. <laughs> Oblivion hasn't damaged us yet. Oh, actually, that's potentially going to prevent the Arc of Unreality. No, it won't because the battle zone is different. It's weird. Uh, no one is destroying a lot of cards except, I guess, Mainstay. Let's put it on Mainstay because he's not getting that objective for a while anyways. And he, he can destroy a bunch of cards in one turn. Falling Statuary. It's, it tries to hit Oblivion. Oblivion is the second lowest, by the way. A nothing play for Progeny. Maintenance level over here. I guess I didn't even realize what environment we're on. We're on Mars. Uh, we can discard a card. An equipment card. She doesn't have... She, she has an equipment. Yeah, she has the book or whatever, but... Oh, she has it in her hand. He's got lots of equipments. He likes to have them in his trash as well, but he also wants the chance to blow them up. So let's let the Harpy discard an equipment, which counts for the thing. A pebble fell on the toe of a giant. Hey, someone said yes, I will beat Oblivion. One voter. You could be lucky if I win or unlucky if I lose. I'm guessing it's going to be lucky. Aw, shard strength. I get to use a power. Does it happen right away? Yeah. I guess I get to punch. Oh, uh, shared strength is still in play, so yeah. Crayon goes off, but that's fine. It's worth it for hidden Imperion for five. Lose our Gatling gun. Discard or destroy a card. We can discard an equipment card. Which counts for our thing. Oblivion leaves, which means we're not going to be able to get tokens, which is annoying. So I guess we leave Imperion with him. Unfortunately, that ongoing is there, which is going to play the card, top card of his deck. Does someone want to stay? Can someone destroy it? I don't think so. Add one Devastation token and play the top card. It's not great. It's not ideal. Um, but... We do want to make progress towards the shield, so I guess we leave and hope he doesn't move back, but he's very likely to move back. I'm going to swap this out, right? Like, we're never getting to hope for the dawn. Numerology is good, yeah, but it's not doing anything right now. None of these admin are a problem. They're all fine. Uh, I guess we can play numerology here. I don't really have anything else I want to play. We'll try to kill the uh, vassal without hitting progeny. We kill the thralls, that's fine. Citizen Storm! We could swap out Demand of the Gods for Citizen Storm. We could trade for building a king, but we don't have enough cards. That's kind of interesting. Uh, we could shuffle. I think we swap out Demand of the Gods. Oh, we destroy an ongoing. That's annoying. Maybe we don't. Maybe we shuffle. Yeah. 
All right, it is shard strength again. I guess we have external combustion that we could kill everything. It does give a token. I'd rather not give tokens to progeny, so let's do this. Draw. Nope. All right, crit contraption is fine. We could trade it. Yeah, we could trade it to get more cards from Mecha Knight. Seems good. Oh, we have... Do we, we don't have enough equipment cards. We might draw one for building a king, but it's not for sure. Uh, let's go ammo drop. Harpy has Applied Numerology again. Mainstay has Lonesome Highway. Okay. Let's play Lonesome Highway. Is he the lowest? No, he is not. Let's just destroy this Thrall. Equipment. Surprise. Surprise or probably numerology. Three cards. If it's an equipment here, I'm going to discard it, though. It's not. I shuffle if it's, like, the best choice. But it usually isn't. Usually taking the objective is better than shuffling, like... It's like, I don't like this. Like, take it. Don't shuffle. I do want to deal myself damage, but it's irreducible. Uh, someone can regain 2 HP and use a power. We could destroy the Thrall. That seems good. We could play random cards. I think we'll just get rid of that Aeon Man. Not like he's a big deal. But it's also a free card for Bunker. Let's give a bigger heal to myself. We're making no progress in this game. I guess we've got like. Did we get an objective yet? I don't think so. Oh, great. Increased damage to hero targets. Hey, Tony Taurus. Wow, Rook City. Uh, play the top card, moving to Ammon, the other battles. This is the least element of Pandemonium is gross, because he has plus two damage. No, he doesn't have plus damage, but still, this is like six damage, whereas this is like one damage. Uh, we haven't gotten any objective, right? Yeah, we're just, like, working towards them. That's why I feel like we haven't made any progress. Playing the top card of the Iron Man deck is kind of dangerous, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, yeah, Tony Torres can take, take a hit here. This can go here for less damage. Bunker. Dr. Medico... But He's good at healing others, but not himself. Let me know if there's anything happens with the sound, by the way, too, because I have it on the speakers, and sometimes it gets glitchy. But so far, so good. Uh, who has their most rewards in play? X energy damage. Um, Mainstay likes to take damage. It's just a vassal anyways. Reflated Streets is gross. 
I guess, yeah, with flooded streets, that elemental pandemonium would be gross. 3-3-3. Three, three, and three. Pervasive red dust. Imperion is going to go off and just hurt himself. We do have focus of power happening at the end of the turn, which is gross. Hey, Oblivion leaves. Destroy. We'll leave pervasive red dust because we can make use of that. He doesn't do focus of power. He left. Aha. He is here to hit us, but... Yeah, he was moving over anyway. So he didn't play a bonus card, though, at least. Uh, he does a bajillion damage. Uh, I don't think order really matters here, because everyone is just taking a bajillion damage. Yeah. Oh, we get ammo drop. Sure. Ow. 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 Well, we're gonna run away again. We need to, like, get this shield going. Uh, I don't really care for this one. I'm gonna shuffle it. Alright. And, yeah, Pervasive Red Dust is nice because we can discard cards and get equipments from our trash, which we have. Yugen Immunant is in my hand. I can play an ongoing card. We have a Locust to beat up here. Thinking of Magical Bequest, what would I play? 100 Aura. That seems fine. Don't need this other copy of Plague Numerology. Ooh, Arcan Explosion is back. Ooh, I could play two ongoing card. I don't have that. Well, I can increase it. Oh no, we actually get stuck here. That's a bug. Wow. Imagine finding a bug in Sentinels at this day and age. Forty-two attachments. I better show a... Is there a skip button? Well, it's too late now. I better show a new picture. I didn't notice the skip button. Sorry, that's my fault. Not a bug. It should just automatically go, though, right? Like, there's, there's, it shouldn't, I'm not actually stuck, but it should just be like, you have no more cards to play. Goodbye. Let's look at another hero. How about, uh, Dr. Metropolis? Have we seen that? A damaged image of Dr. Metropolis. He's getting some cracks, some scratches, some holes in his cape. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, so there's a skip button, you're right. But it shouldn't, like, it should just skip automatically there. Rock hard abs, exactly.
Yes. We'll continue moving to second battle zone. We could swap out Demand of the Gods here. Do we have enough equipment now? We don't. We're probably dying. <laughs> We're not getting this. We're not hitting ourselves. I wonder if I trade... I'm going to trade Create Contraption. So we have another chance. Yes, I want to reduce the damage, please. I want, like, Void Belter... to be destroyed... Each non-harmed archer deals mainstay. Yeah, I can't abide that. How many tokens do we need this? Five. So I'm going to hope I draw another equipment card. That's my guess. That's my goal. I want it. This is like the same amount of damage. I could destroy Shard Strength and then use my other power. That's okay. Make sure we kill that and we'll hit the Vassal. It's not an equipment. Ah, uh, no. So, we have to discard or destroy three, but we only have two. Again here, we can trade. Actually, now we have got equipments up the yin yang, so let's trade for building a king here. And then, actually, that can flip Imperia, and if we want, I don't know that we want. We want to be in, like, recharge mode. We're going to get Pervasive Red Dust going here. If I play recharge mode, I don't get to use a power, and we probably die anyways. And if we get an on... We can still try for Mainstay's top deck here. So let's play this. RP has directed strike. Mainstay has. Ooh, okay. Let's play that. All right. Discard and destroy any number. Get hit points. I could do damage. Uh, we could just only discard because we have enough stuff to discard. Uh, so Bunker wants to discard both of his. That covers Great Contraption. Don't need to destroy that. And does Mainstay want to destroy? He's probably dead, right? I guess he might live with the best, but he's not going to live, right? Oh, we, we can get Mecha Knight, so okay, let's not discard, let's destroy. He's getting hit points. Bunker's getting lots of cards. We get T-Rex bot. We could flip Imperion, but Imperion is really bad on this side. I don't think I want to hit Imperion. All right. 
We run away and we trade for Mecha Knight. And do I want to deal two toxic damage? I can go regeneration, so sure. Give myself more hit points. And let's discard it. Still haven't gotten rid of focus of power. It's just like hanging out there forever. Hey, we got objectives this round. Gross. Uh, probably the Scion deck. Good. Nothing happens. Rook City's bad. Progeny flips. Progeny is mad, but no one's here. We get a Thrall. Medico is getting lots of hit points. Medico might not die. We all agree to discard a card. I have Calling the Flock, so I can just discard. We're going to Muggin. We can discard equipments. We can always get equipment. If we have equipment in our trash, though, we can get it into play. So don't need so many mono a manos. Don't need so many recharge modes. And we have that already. Ancient Tome. We may as well get our damage reduction. Maybe we'll live. And Gatling Gun? Omni can we have lots of cards. Omni Cannon seems good. Replace of Red Dust returns. Alright. Destroy four equipment cards. Well everything except the hairdryer probably. Well that was useful. You got a hit point. Got two hit points out of that, I guess. Destroy two environment cards. Let me catch it. <laughs> All right. All right. Sure. The dust is just cycling through the vacuum cleaner. Omni cannon again. And discard or destroy a card. Sure. Harpy is probably dead. Unless we want to destroy a card for effects, but I think we to discard it can be this medico is going to be full soon down to two all right he didn't move which means we get to come after him and get the flip and everyone dies doing that but We have to get the shield flipped at least. Oh man, so many Eon men. Oh, he's just, oh man, he, of course he's gonna come back now. He's playing two cards. That sucks. All right, do that first. Plays, yeah, here he comes. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, we can make him flip Imperion. And he's going to play another card. Oh my gosh. All right, we'll flip Imperion first. Which does things. Uh, I may flip a token. Wow, that's going to do something. The doctor may survive. This is all still happening. So we're going to make the locust go and maybe he'll leave. I don't think he actually leaves, but maybe he'll leave again and not hit the Ann warriors, which is a problem. 
We get a card. Oh yeah, okay. So the warriors don't hit us here. Yeah, he heals Imperion, sure. He moves Medico. He moves Mainstay. He kills Harpy. He kills Bunker. He heals Imperion. Kyrick's bot may as well hit Imperion. He kills the warrior, which is gonna Oh, that's gonna make it hit Hyteric Spot. That's funny. Alright, then this really doesn't matter anymore. We get to draw cards briefly before we die. At least we have new heroes who are have lots of hit points that are gonna come get their tokens, but then there's going to be 12, yeah, so everyone's going to get murdered. I would click random, but if it's uh, Earth Prime, we have to go back. It's Santa, guys. Programmers. Uh, yes, go to the first battle zone. Night. Yeah, Iron Moose, the Earth Prime Kickstarter, if you have not signed up to be notified, it's coming out on Thursday. Sprite Wolf is lying. Alright, we're still going to go over there and get murdered because we have to get the shield flipped. Ow. Uh, we could regain the hairdryer. The focus of power is still there. We have destroy an ongoing card. That would be cool. We don't. Does anyone have destroy an ongoing card? This is destroying ongoing card if there's a target that can be destroyed, like Imperion, but it doesn't work. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, I think we just regain, unless... It doesn't work against Imperion, though. If we take on this objective, we can't get it. We could just use a power. We could play a card, I guess. No, none of these get us cards. These are bad. Uh, what's our in caps here? Not destroy an environment card. Our ongoing card. We could do cold damage to Imperion. That's kind of like all we can do. That's kind of brutal. I guess we play selling out and we might get lucky and get redirect draw, right? Like that's, you don't play it now, but we like, we can open a present. So let's, do that. We will open one present. It could be good. Oh, I drew some cards. Retcon. We have let someone play a card. No, we don't. Well, Mainstay is going to get incapped, and he says, doesn't say play a card. Maybe someone will come up and be able to play a card. I guess I got what I was looking for. I did. I wanted retcon. Oh, we have to, well, we have selling out. We can okay. We can use selling out to play retcon. So we're actually okay. Not okay, okay, but you know, better. And yes, we want to move to second battle zone and get killed. Oh yeah, I can't even take this. Uh, let's give card draw. To guys. Guys might be able to get 
his damage redirect. We can draw enough cards. We have the Sentinels. So the Sentinels can leave now and not get killed by everything. Uh, so I think that's probably wise. They're still going to take a lot of damage from here, but they might live. Knife might not die. She'll probably die. We could regain T-Rex bot. It can't hit Imperion though. And the knife is really bad at hitting Imperion. <laughs> uh what would we yeah, it wouldn't really do anything. Because it can't hit the targets that are here. Uh we could give a card draw. Two guys. Or to knife, but I think it's two guys. Because guys has best card ever. Alright, guys is getting a better chance at doing something. Uh, we could do <laughs> melee or energy damage. So those are not things that do anything. Let's just like play a card and skip. Medico is at max HP. We flip the shield. The shield now says, at the start of Levant's turn, destroy an environment card. Whenever an environment card is destroyed, you can discard two cards. So if he's in the other battle zone, this card gets destroyed on Mac, though, right? Yeah. So, oh man, this is going to be a lot of damage to the Sentinels. Um, I'm going to shuffle the mission deck here. I don't want this. I, I want something else. Hey, Shattering Blow. All right. Do I want to take this? I am dead from Oblivion because he does 24 damage exactly. So... I can give guys a power. Or I can give Knife a power. I could flare up and heal guys a little bit. Energy damage is no good. I guess we let guys give out presents. <laughs> Maybe he can open them. We heal him a little bit more. Like, Medico is dead no matter what. Oh, we have from the brink now. Okay. We can use from the brink. That's pretty good. We can save Medico or someone we get to use a power now give guys more heal play from the brink mechanite ultra strike which i think does actually do some damage to imperion because it heals him for that but then we also do the psychic and the sonic yeah okay it's a little bit hello seamus Oof. Lighted streets as well. Toxic sludge. Each target with at least five. Well, we can avoid that by choosing Idealist here. Avoid her taking that hit. I'm pretty sure <laughs> we're all dead. <laughs> That Bladed Streets is not helping. Self-damage. Oh, Bladed Streets. Brutal. Move Oblivion to this battle zone. Oh, he's blowing up this battle zone now. Well, that saves all the other heroes. Unless they move back because of Imperion. And Boar is here, so... And yeah, Boar kills all these guys except Dr. Medico. Nemesis damage. Wow. Well, the rest of the Scions are going to take care of the business. The Sentinels were here just long enough to, like, get murdered. And 
and we have Tempest. And Tempest is going to dibs out of whatever's going on over there. Reduce all fire damage by one. Can we kill Imperion? We have two Say Cheeses that we can get Guys the Barbarian on. Which isn't enough, but that's six damage out of 12. We could probably get one back with where did I leave that. So let's see. If we discard to give me a character, we can play best card ever and play Guys the Barbarian. So another copy of Say Cheese in my deck. Yeah. So there's a chance we could do this. Let's see how it works. So discard this, play best card ever. And guys of Barbarian. Then we get to play two more one shots. We play Retcon. And Say Cheese. And then Say Cheese. But then he, he still has too many hit points. So we get, don't get to play the other card. I don't think we get to play enough cards. I think that's the problem. But maybe the environment. Oh, the environment already played its card. At least we get rid of that focus of power, so. If we play this, I don't think, the thing is I think with Say Cheese, we don't have an, we don't get him down to five. That's the problem. If we got him down to five, we could do it, but we don't do that. Hey, there's total beefcake. We might actually want that. Like, that was what we were looking for. If, if Leon, he might come back, right? So Total Beefcake is pretty helpful. Uh, so let's play that. Oh, we can play... Play that for sure. And we'll play... Uh, Redcon. To get rid of Focus of Power. We could draw a card here. And maybe get something else. But I think... Yeah, do we bother playing the Say Cheeses? I think we just do that on our turn, right? We look for, like... I guess if we had another Selling Out, we could retcon the Selling Out. We could do that thing. We didn't have it. Yeah, I don't think we really try to focus on Imperion here right now. It's not really worth it. Let's just draw a card. And we'll play... Where did I leave that and get back? Best card ever, unless we draw something cool. I can do that too is good, but no. To get... Best card ever back. Discard a card. Guys wants all his cards. Like knife. We. I mean, we're not doing fire damage, but this is doing a lot of damage. We might not be here. We actually want environment cards, right? Because of this. Yeah, I think we just skip that. It's a lot of damage, but we also it's Imperion. No targets are destroyed this way. Well, this is going to redirect it to Imperion. He's going to kill himself, almost. I should have hit him. He's at two. Move one sign from the other battle zone. Uh, I guess it's Boar. What? He's not going to get killed by Blavan. He's like almost going to get killed by Blavan. It's like not quite. I guess he might get killed by Blavan. Let's bring Faultless. 
He has three area damage. So we would have would have killed Imperion if we had hit him for two damage. Uh, we can't. We have to destroy a card here. After this card is destroyed, play the top card of the villain deck. You can't prevent this destruction because no one's here. This might play more environment cards. We choose the Scion deck. Hey, we can bring Faultless back to get hit. Oh, Rooksy is getting destroyed anyway, so we probably should have just picked another one, but fine. Uh, Doc the Wrath is here. He's playing a card. So, let's see what he's doing. Hit the villains. Impending doom. And he's going to count down next turn, so we don't he, we can make him go wherever we want. Oh, he's going to count down right now. All right, I guess he's going to count down right there. And kill Progeny and Faultless and Boar. And whatever other Scions appear. Wow. This is a combo for Oblivion. Aeon Master. Great, he's going to play more cards. No, it's just a vassal. It's fine. We can hit Boar, and then Boar will kill the vassal for us. Maybe. Maybe he's short tokens. He's actually short tokens. He doesn't do it. I should have loved Boar before Faultless, right? That would that would have been smart. Let's rewind that. I know I'm cheating a little bit, but not that much. Because Boar is going to hit Faultless here. Well, I would have hit... Well, whatever. I would have hit... Progeny first. Let's do the order that like is smart. Progeny. The main is the order between Boar and Faultless. While still hitting the new Scion, whoever it is. Alright. So Boar. I guess I'm not hitting Eon Master. Whatever. And I want Faultless to take the bonus damage. Yeah, we're still getting Aeon Master. It's just like less damage to Faultless, that's all. And it's Nixius. Wow, Scion Party. He flips. At least, we don't... This is the shield where, like, whatever. We don't care too much, like... Now we can go fight him. Oh, but he's still killing Faultless anyways, turns out. Turns out, he's still killing Faultless. I think we're not on the path to victory with this game right now. Uh, all right. We have a retcon. We want to get rid of that impending doom if we can, but we don't have to. We have Servo Gauntlet. It's actually, yeah, but it can't hit Imperion. Imperion's just going to get killed by the Oxygen Leak, but it'd be nice to have people here to, like, benefit from it. 
I have retcon in my trash. It's possible I could draw. Oh, we have destroy an ongoing card here. Okay, so Tempest can stay. So we're gonna go punch a Blavion then. Does guys want shattering blow? Yes. Remove four tokens. Heal. Neon Master. We can get guys the Barbarian. I want to play cards out of turn, which I can if we, like, use an incap ability. Except these incap abilities don't... Oh, I can use Doctor's Orders. Use a power. Uh, that, but... I don't have a power that deals damage right now. <laughs> I can't do all the things I want. Should I stay and just kill Imperian and we all get to use powers and draw cards? Like, that's pretty good. Maybe we should do that. All right. Guys is staying to do that because he can say cheese Imperion. Maybe we give the shard to... I mean, guys with the hairdryer, he can get it next turn. So let's take it on and... Yeah, take it on now. Okay. And we can say cheese twice. What happens in a Bloodbank game if you run out of a hero variants? Uh, that is a question that we asked Christopher and the answer is in the forum. Uh, everyone can draw a card and use a power. So let's give out presents. bottom of this drink looks suspicious, so I'm not going to. And Oblivion flips. I'm going to get another drink, so I'll be right back. I have a Bon Voyage Champagne IPA. A crisp, dry APA with a refreshing hop profile reminiscent of pineapple and melon from Bogside Brewing and PEI. All right. Uh, Tempest can draw a card and his power doesn't do anything, right? Oh no, he can play a bunch of cards. Mmm. That's exciting. We could Stratosphere that card instead. I like that, actually. Keeps Oblivion from playing a bad card. Let's do that. Uh, Knife's power doesn't do anything. Uh, that doesn't do anything either, so... Let's do this. Play up to three cards. Into the Stratosphere. Well, first, Aquatic Correspondence. Maybe we draw a damage reduction card. Increase damage card. No. And then we'll play just into the Stratosphere then. 
Boop. And that should be in Oblivion's deck. There was a bug where it wasn't before. And that's it. Then knife. For power. Be skipped. Medico can give someone an increased heal. Probably himself again. Hmm. Now we can give a present. Uh, I think Medico is pretty safe to give a present. He gets regeneration. All right. Weird. Weird flex, but okay. All right, so now we want to... We don't have to worry about that other thing. Uh, guys is taking a bunch of damage from uh, toxic whatever, but that's fine. Uh, take on this objective or use it in cap. I think we take this on. Free card play. Not free, but free. And do area damage or lightning slash. I think the area damage is pretty good here. Gets a new Aeon Man, but that's okay. We're going to kill some Scions. Into the Stratosphere. Oh, we get Stratosphere that Thrall. Uh, we have that already. We don't probably need two. Sure. Knife is here. She wants to move. The Red Menace. Or we could regain T-Rex Bot. That seems good. Incidental contact, contact is kind of fun with T-Rex Bot, isn't it? We don't have, we can't have both. So let's play T-Rex Bot. And let's hit Oblivion. We want to hit Void Soul. Boys all can just be murdered by Oblivion directly, right? Or sorry, by T-Rex Bot. So let's hit. Hit that. Finish off Void Soul here. And Dr. Medico is moving. Does he have Nemesis with someone? No, I guess not. It was with... Actually, he had Nemesis with Voidzel, didn't he? Hmm. So he could Mechanite Ultra Strike Voidzel for the same effect. No, he doesn't have Nemesis with Voidzel. Okay. Or maybe that's the other side. I don't know. Uh, Red Menace, sure. Join us. And... I can Mechanite Ultra Strike to finish off Nixius. Or I could use this to let Tempest do area damage, and that would finish off Nixius. I kind of like that. So we just like hit Oblivion with this. We could hit Red Menace, but I'm not too concerned about that. We have a con victory condition here. We have an extra card play. No, second opinion is also really good, but got things to do. Don't be a locust. Good. Oh yeah, I knew it was a thrall, I guess, didn't I? Let's give a heal boost. To Tempest? Medico is okay. Maybe next time. Oh, 
All right, good turn. Vampires, there's no vampires. Where are the vampires? And Master plays a card that just does some damage. Oh, and kills Eon Thrall. But also makes a new Aeon Man. No, it's a Locust. Do not like. Do not like. Aeon Man damage. At least Oblivion doesn't like directly destroy them, but he is gonna do his damage, right? So. This is reducing fire damage. We're gonna be leaving here, right? So, guys, it's not sticking around. And that saves us from the fire damage. There's no Scion turn. Oblivion's not gonna leave. Guys, just gonna come. So, whatever, that environment can freak out. Uh, I don't care about keeping the environment. This shield can just stay there flipped forever, and that card can stay over there forever. Oblivion can get hit by the Red Menace. Haha. -ha. He is killing the Aeon Locust, but he's not if the Aeon Thrall goes up first. Alright, hit Aeon Master. See what comes out. Another Thrall, so that's fine. We'll leave the other Eon Man at low HP and T-Rex Bot dies, but it's okay. He did his job. And Dark Mind goes through the battle zone. Annoyingly. Alright, but now we can all just I think we're just gonna all go over and fight Oblivion here. Unless I had a retcon to get rid of that, but I don't. I have where did I leave that, but I don't really want to. I want to spend my turn to get rid of that impending doom. He might be over there. I mean, and that would suck because the countdown, but I think we just chance it. <clears throat> now we can regain the hairdryer. And do we have enough punching? I'm going to punch a lot. I don't know if we have enough punching, but I'm going to punch a lot. Woo! Yeah, I don't have an extra card play, so we're just going to do our damage here. Not enough damage, but it's a decent amount. A new Aeon Man. Well, we'll have to do some area damage. If only we had a hero who could do that. Uh, Digital Age versus this. This is pretty good. We're not... This hero isn't giving out things, though, so... Who is? Dr. Medico gives out card draws, right? A candy with this. So I think we just skip here. Unless we want to trade. Who's got something we want to trade for? We could trade Chattering for Chattering Blow. I'd rather take the card play though, right? So we can like Lightning Slash Oblivion and do area damage. Pretty good. Gene bound shackles. Dang. I will love to play that. That goes well with that card actually. So let's discard Look Lights Hurricane because we have Grievous Hailstorm is working pretty well for us. No, we can take this on, I guess. I we were going to give it to Medico, I think, though. Medico is better at it. You could reduce damage to a hero or give someone a card draw or have an environment do something. It's not going to do. Yeah, I think I want Medico to get this. Oh, but you have to swap it. Unless she kills the thing. 
Can she kill the thing? I guess she can kill the thing. All right, knife is going to kill the thing. Because <laughs> she can do four damage with this and three damage with this to kill the red menace. Or actually, insult contact is four and then three as well and does more overall. So let's do that. Let's just give a card draw. Actually, give a damage reduction to myself. Let's take a, take a bunch of damage here. Oh, this is Nemesis. That's fun. Yes. Yes, I do. To myself. And no, I don't. I think choose for me is okay here now. Guys, we can say no. Tempest, we can say no. Yeah, then we can kill that thing and then Medico can pick it up. Medico also gets this other thing. Incidentally. Take on Orchestrate the Void. Yes. Yes, I do. This also is giving out good healing to each hero character card. The net boost and its card draws for all. Immunization. If we Mecha Knight, we can kill Aeon Master. I say we do it. That means there's no Scion card play there. I know we're not hitting a Oblivion, but... No Scion card play is usually good. non her targets cannot regain HP. Non-built, non-vampire targets, I think. That's not great for us. Ah, Dark Mine hits, gets hit with the Oxygen Leak. Mm. Man, she's going to get murdered by the Oxygen Leak. Blavan is not here. Ah. I want oxygen leaks. Oh, we can destroy this environment card that's being annoying. <laughs> He's sending us to the other battle zone. I kind of want this guy to get hit for a card draw. And... Everyone's just getting hit. And so he adds tokens. And Sanction is here. Sanction doesn't do anything. We have to come back and try again for Shattering Blow. I guess I can now... I want to play... Guys, the Barbarian on my... I can play Super Ultra Kawaii, I guess. I guess we can try to set up another turn. So use an Incap ability to give present. Yeah. To myself. We play Guys, the Barbarian. And then... I guess we could retcon this. Playing more environment cards that we don't want. Oh, we want Super Ultra, right? All right. No. <laughs> Scared cards. Uh, 
play Super Ultra so we can play cards at the end of the turns. We use this to open our presents. Unless we might get to... We won't have an end of turn. We won't have enough damage at the end of the turn. Let's... We're going to get... I can do that too at some point, so... Just use the hairdryer. So we play Guys of Barbarian here. Yes, first battle zone. Digital Age versus that. I mean, Knife can get the Great Fortune, right? So use an ink ability. We can let Guys use a power. We don't even have a power in cap. Play, draw, destroy, and destroy, draw. I guess Guys is going to get to play a card, so I wonder if we can get enough damage. If we play Vicious Cyclone, actually, we can do a lot of damage. Move next to Oblivion. And discard all the cards except the one that lets us draw a bunch of cards. That does nine damage. We're one away, and then Guys just has to do one damage with his power. With his card play, which surely. These guys have a card that does one damage. He could play Blatant Reference, I guess. Yeah, I guess he, that's what he's doing. <laughs> All right. Because we could use this to play Chain Lightning, but I'd rather not take the damage. We don't have to. Oh, okay. We had Gene Bunch Shackles. I forgot. So that was enough. We can play into the Stratosphere for four damage. That seems worthwhile. Yeah, Gene Bunch Shackles, super good. Uh, we play, where did I leave that? To grab... Oh, now we have... The shard. It's not on, but we have it. Let's grab best card ever. Say cheese. I mean, any more one shots that deal damage is good. Uh, I didn't get that though, because we have blatant reference is going to be really good with uh, the shard. We want to try to destroy impending doom. I say no. We just take our chance. And we punch a blow down a bunch, I guess. Energy burn seems good. Punch a blow down. Continue to punch a blow down. Countdown is at three. I want total beefcake for once we have. The shard. Best card ever is going to let us get more cards, even though we're not... We do have plus two, so, like, it's not bad to be playing this. There's... Oh, yeah. Maybe we want to play that on our turn. Uh, is there an equipment we care about? Conduit Blade. Gene Van Shackles. You know, Jackal's kind of fun for guys. Do we have any more damage? I guess I could have played that first and then played best card ever later, but it's kind of too late now. Let's play Greedy Reboot. So we're going to take some damage but not die. All right, select a card in your hand. Reveal a top card of your deck. We have equipment limited, ongoing limited, one shot. Yeah, I know, we have a present, guys. We have three, four, seven, nine, eleven one shots out of twenty-nine. So definitely 
ongoing or equipment limited is better. I think equipment limited might be best here. So if we choose this, we did not match sadness. First battle zone. We have immunization, actually. It's kind of interesting. It's a good turn for it. Uh, we don't want this. We could just shuffle the deck here, because we definitely don't want that, like, ever. What would I trade for? What have we got? Digital age. Free card plays are great. We have another chance at great fortune. And we're not getting this orchestrate the void, so let's just trade for a great fortune here. I think we immunize here, unless we have a better idea. We get a hit point. Two hit points. Immunize is nice. Because it's only one damage, and guys gets a card. Makes him immune to damage so he doesn't get any more cards, but... It saves us from Oblivion's damage. Medico still takes the hit, but... We just hit Oblivion with this. If we have, like, if Medico would die, we have from the brink, right? So this is not limited to other heroes, I think, right? Let me just double check. Yeah. So it's fine. Welcome, Logic. Guys would like to play a card. Guys is the best. Uh, what would you use Aya with? That's kind of interesting. I haven't really thought about that too much. Nothing? Okay. Uh, we could just give a present out. And then we could open present. We could use our hairdryer at the start of our turn and open presents during our turn. Kind of like that. Or he could use, like, this and take no damage. Okay. Okay. So let me see that on Genebound Shackles. Oh, he could play let me see that on his own equipment card. <laughs> it just says play next to an equipment card, right? An equipment card. So he could play it on his own equipment card. Uh, let's play Blatant Reference. It's kind of too late. It's not the end of each hero turn. I don't have any other cards that deal damage, though. Why did I do this? I just don't have any stuff. Yeah, it's not actually... Not actually worth doing that. If I had stuff to do, that would be cool, but I don't. I had one shots that deal damage, like I'd be into that. Maybe we just give it a present then. Uh yeah. We could like do damage, but Oh, I I could I always I I feel like this is wrong, right? This is telling me the wrong thing. It says Use second power. Oh, it is saying the right thing, but the second power comes first. <laughs> That's the weird thing. Logic Dolphin, I know you love guys now. All right, what have we got here? Ongoing limiteds and one shots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's more ongoings once again, and they seem good. So let's choose ongoing limited. Universal donor would be nice. We got regeneration. Okay. That's pretty good. And we also now get to play ongoing cards. And what did he get? Experimental medicine, which he can't play again. But he can play prescription strength or I could give guys a plus one damage and healing. I could also do this, which is hilarious. 
because we have it on Chekhov's hair dryer with guys. Knife can play Primed Punch. Tempest can play Electrical Storm. Destroying Omni, John Yu's presence. Yeah. Guys can play an ongoing, but none of them do anything right now because he's immune to damage and he doesn't really need to. So let's just press skip. Disco. Do I want to use a power now? Oh my god. Every time I heal, I can use a power. Every turn, Medico can use a power. I think this turn he wants the hit points. But every other turn, he's going to use Mecha Knight Ultra Strike. I wish he had a plus one. That would be very nice. Who is she targeting? Why does this not have a special string? Blood Countess needs a special string. Who is the highest? Medico is the only one who hasn't been in-capped as well. Because he's randomly played. He got regeneration as a present or a random play somehow once, right? As well. Yeah, Sente guys is pretty fun. I like completions, guys. It's pretty wild. I'm into it. Attachments. All right. Uh, I just want to make sure I have enough hit points no matter what Oblivion does, so... Let's get a little more hit points, so that we don't want to be the highest. Oh, that thing's the highest. But I want to be above 10 here. Two with the highest. Guys is immune. Who's the lowest? Doesn't matter. Yes, I want to use a power now. The power is one target. Oh, I can let someone else use a power. Actually, letting guys use a power is even better. All right. Because <laughs> guys can use the hair dryer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's even better. I need to be doing this every turn. This is eight and eight. Yeah, and it's going to have the shard as well, shortly. Dark mine getting murdered by the auction leak. Yes, I want to use a power now. The power I want to use is let guys use a power. This is outrageous. Who needs hit points? We want to be dealing 16 damage every turn. <clears throat> All right, Dark Mind is here. Yes, I want to use a power. I want to use this power. I want guys to get hit points. Oh, wait, I want guys to use a power. Tee hee hee. We like kill Dark Mind here because Killing Dark Mind doesn't really get us anything though, neither does killing Sanction. They aren't doing anything. It's just work on Sanction. <laughs> There's just the only thing left here is boss. He's gonna get played in the other battle zone here in a second. Oh, Bathory can go. Breaky Wolf says it's starting to look like I might win. Weird. Yeah, this is going to hit everyone.
immunization, doing the work, we get to hit, gain one hit point. Alright, for one hit point, I think it's guys. Just two. No power, unfortunately. Get a card. Dare you accept a Scion's aid? I'm going to use a power. We're going to use a power. This feels super broken, but I like it. I've never had this Dr. Medico combo going in oblivion mode before. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, no, we want to stay, and I guess we can use... Play a card. Use a power. We don't really care about that objective. What would we play? Cause a prognosis? Oh, we don't have the... We don't have the thing. You'd give it a present. Because we can always use our check of hairdryer at the end of our turn. Uh... Knife doesn't give out things. Neither does he. Yeah, I guess we just, like, let guys use a power and give it a present. And he'll flip them for his... He'll flip his own presents for his base power, and then he's going to use that at the end of his turn. Yeah, I'll discard a card. He's at plus six damage. We lose... Things to Dark Mind. Oh, oh my God! When we kill Dark Mind, we get to play all those cards. <gasps> ah, that's so good. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so good. We could also copy Doctor Medico and just have regeneration ourselves as well. Damage cannot be increased. We don't want that though. This is so outrageous with Dark Mind here. <laughs> Do we want? We could. Oh, I want to copy. I want to get Gene Bound Shackles. I don't want to play this because we're going to kill Dark Mind here in a second. Blade and Reference, right? Like, Blade and Reference is the way to go here. Yeah. I mean, it might be in our presence, but it might not be. All right, let's open our presence. OMG, this is exciting. Super Ultra Kawaii. <laughs> and oh yeah, it's here. Okay, so we're copying, I think. Tempest? That will let us use uh, Grievous Hailstorm. We could copy her. I don't I just don't want experimental medicine, right? Because it says you can't increase your damage, so. Redcon. We have to destroy one of our cards. I guess I could destroy, but external medicine is like making it happen, right? Uh, I don't actually need, oh yeah, that's like the card I don't need. So that's the card that's going. Also, Dark Mind just gets it anyways, so it really doesn't matter. We just draw a card here, because we're going to get super ultra kawaii. You revealed guys' deck for Dark Mind, yeah. <laughs> Nine damage here. We don't get the plus one if we hit Dark Mind, so... Do we want to use a power now? Yes. I want to give guys hit points. Does Guys want hit points? No. Guys does not want hit points. He's doing 13 damage. Yeah, let's hit Sanction here. Oh, it's only 12. We have Selling Out as well. All right, let's hit Sanction. <laughs> we also have Blatant Reference coming up. Uh, discard a card. Deal one damage. Play a card. Selling out. 
So the event's not gonna be here. Revo Cola, experimentally refreshing. Uh no. I can use an in-cap ability to let someone play a card or regain hit points or whatever. Draw a card. Oh, regain two hit points. That's not enough for a power. I think we just let guys draw a card. What did guys get here? He doesn't have anything. Uh, orchestrate the void. Yeah, we're not getting that. Let's just let guys draw a card. Vicious Cyclone. I don't think we need to discard for that. We get one damage to sanction here which gets us a bunch of cards from hand to trash so best card ever and we only have one of them there i guess the word of the lady that is good or just a damage one shot is pretty good lightning slash and stratosphere i guess could be useful your Xbox. And I don't know. Damage. Immunization is nice, but dangerous primitive care is pretty good with guys there. Let's grab that regeneration. Why not? It's pretty pretty good. So Darkbind is dying to check out his hair dryer at the end of the turn. So we just like If we play otherworldly and hailstorm. Levin's gonna run away. Maybe we don't want him to run away because he's gonna we don't want to run away to where those bad cards are, right? So we might not kill him all the way here. He could count down though. Is someone able to go over there and like blow up the thing. I guess we could have into the stratosphere it, but we didn't. We're too excited about all the damage we're doing. Uh, guys. Use of power. You could, like, open a bajillion presents as well. <laughs> Put the first card into play. Everyone I know is dead. Alright, do your 12 damage. I think we just let Oblivion chill, because if he leaves and he's over there, Impending Doom is going to do the countdown. For sure, and we don't want that. So we're not gonna, we're not going to hit him more here. Maybe we play Total Beefcake in case of Levant, because the villain's gonna, like, attack him. Uh, so yeah, unless we had an ongoing destruction, which we don't like at all at all have ongoing destruction. Yeah. I think we just, like, actually chill here. Our incap abilities can't do it. I'd like to trade Orchestrate the Void to, like, someone who can get... I guess I can get one token a turn here, so we can get it next turn. If we let someone draw a card, like, let guys draw cards, because guys is awesome. I can hit him for four. Oh, wait, I don't want to use that. Hang on, let's leave it. Leave it. Leave it. I don't want to destroy it. Forgot the punch was primed. T Rex bot is too much damage. He doesn't have. To. Oh, it it may deal, but there's no point to playing it right now. What cards are here in Oblivion's deck? Oh, and the Scion deck. The Scion deck could move Oblivion to the battle zone, but it's after that. That's the main thing. Like this is start of turn, so 
That's fine. I'll just like play whatever. Like, and we can like, we can hit him. That's fine. Just like, don't kill him. And no, we're just actually gonna get hit points. And guys is just gonna press skip. Unless there's something he wants to play, but I don't think so. He sort of built his combo too big and the Oblivion would leave. Sure, I guess we'll take that. I guess we could... We should leave so that we can, like, punch... Oh, we, we, have, we have Lucky Break, though. We might get, like cards that we want to play so yeah we want to do this get hit points uh lucky break don't get killed by oblivion get hit points i guess we can go regeneration right yeah that's going to enable more foolishness so about guys have hit points This is already on guys, right? Or maybe it isn't. We just want guys to have that. Let guys have hit points. In case he takes damage. And we could flip a blood on here, but we're going to press skip. <laughs> We don't want to. Ooh, healing pulse. Guys doesn't want to play a card. Knife could play this, sure, more damage. And we could play an ongoing card. We have it from the brink is not limited. That's interesting. Yeah, we can play that, sure why not. And we're not gonna play discard for damage. We're not gonna play a card. Don't want to move to the second battle zone. That seems not great. And I don't want to use the power. And we get hit points. Give hit points to these low hit point folks. Guys has selling out, so I could play like a million more cards, but I don't want to. <laughs> what does that say? That's funny. No cards to play. Not really selling out after all. Uh, do I want to give hit points to someone else or myself? I think myself is okay. Let's spread the love here in a second. But Medico wants to get healed up so he can hit himself for healing and everything, right? So maybe he'll take, take some hit points selfishly here. Uh, seven damage from Villainous Weaponry. Actually gets through DeVos. Self-destruct sequence. That's actually kind of dangerous. Uh, let's take one more time for Medico. And maybe give another hit to Tempest and Knife here. Oh, Oblivion did not move. Good. Yes, let's use a power. Let's... If I had... Actually, you know what? I have freaking cleansing downpour. Hang on. I'm going to go back because... We know this turn did nothing. Like, I should be using cleansing downpour. Every turn. All right. We're not revealing anything important here. I'm just like realizing that I was dumb and we could have been getting a ton more hit points overall. I played this. And I was just pressing skip, but I totally forgot that we, we played it out of Dark Mind, right? Uh, we give 
could do this. That's fun. Oh, I already... Okay, I already used the universal donor. Let's just use this. Oh, now we... Okay, this one is outrageous. You want to use a power now? No. Get hit points. Yes, I want to use a power. Grievous Hailstorm. That is... I'm saying downpour. Guys is at maximum. But this is going to be a lot more hit points overall. The music is funky now. All right. Let me click a thing. So there should be no music. Now the music might come back. Let me know if it sounds good now, Sprite Wolf, or if it still sounds bad. Ton better. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I'm going to use this and choose Tempest, and then Tempest choose this. Louder than before, yeah. I think when I... I don't know why. When I have it on that mode with the speakers, it just, like, becomes strange. But it's much more comfortable for me to not have headphones, so... I just want you to let me know, and then I'll fix it. Must be, like, some sort of... No, I don't want Grievous Hailstorm. I clicked wrong. Do I click, like, yes for all game or something? I could use Healing Pulse, but I think it's better to use the Universal Donor directly. I don't know if it is. Someone can do the math and tell me if I'm being dumb, but I'm not going back again. Hey, Hankroid. Are you up early? Seems like it. Uh, yes, use a power. And use cleansing downpour. Dolphin is lazy. It's probably, I mean, I'm sure it's more hit points for everyone else and less for Medico, but I don't know what the sum total, so. This way is still pretty decent for Medico. He gets two every turn instead of three, so it's less than even just saying no. But everyone else gets tons. And yeah, if he uses if he uses the other one, then he takes three or two damage each time. Alright, please don't count down again. He deals some damage. We can total beefcake this. Tempest, destroy a card. Well, I guess I'll destroy one of my face-down guards. It was reclaimed from the deep. Womp womp. And now we have preventative care is active on that. This is giving a card draw. Oh. I should now... Yeah. I wonder if I should have, like, hit Oblivion... So guys can could have chased him for the other battle zone. Should I have had guys kill him there at the end of the Scion turn, I think? Right? We should have done that, right? At the end of this turn, have guys kill him so that... Because... We know he wasn't here for these. That was the important thing. 
Yeah, sorry, I sort of got caught up in my, like, automatic mode there. Oh, guys can't get hit points. He's at full. Can anyone do 10? No one can do 10. Oh, Tempest can with Chain Lightning. Okay, Tempest, do 10. And we can choose guys here and redirect it. All right. Yeah, I just got caught like in autopilot mode, but we definitely wanted like Oblivion to flip so we can like actually get to him for Guys' turn to do like a bajillion damage on Guys' turn. Judge Fico can stay. All right, destroy an environment card. That one. Actually, that's interesting. If we leave these, then he actually gets rid of the shield. <laughs> Except he's destroying everything. Fine. We never actually knew what this card was. We didn't actually reveal new information, so that's nice. Uh, we we have total beefcake because there's Dredge Fico there. Free cards. And we can give... We're taking damage here so we can... Oh, why don't we get more hit points? Did we lose? Oh no, it's only one, right? It's only one. Uh, give hit points to those who need hit points. And now he's destroying the cards anyways. We could like lose the game here if we wanted. And he moves back, but now he's on this side, so he won't run away. And nothing here matters. I guess we're, like, healing someone. It can be... Doesn't... I don't actually don't want it to be guys, because I want guys to have room to heal. Do I want to use a power now? Oh, this is the end of turn. Uh, yeah, I mean, we can let guys use actually attack oblivion here now right so let's do that like we're doing like a lot with hair dryer here six plus five plus two and we can target ourselves, except we don't have the redirect so yeah stop because we should have used Friend the Brink earlier. Hermetic. We could probably, like, accidentally kill Hermetic. But we could use a power instead. If we used a power, what would we use it? Yeah, we could use a power and use Total Beefcake here before it expires. So, Incap is better. Because we can hit Oblivion directly and also target ourselves here with Total Beefcake before it goes away. We must discard for the shard. Also, we have we copied Tempest, so we have that. All right, everything is being destroyed. <laughs> Uh, I kind of want to destroy Prescription Strength. 
Increased damage dealt by that target this turn. Uh, I could use another power, which means I could open presents for someone. If I give presents first, we can open someone else's presents in our power phase. Because we already used Chekhov's hair dryers, we can't use that again. But we can still play a bunch of one-shots here to do damage. So, best cards ever. We reshuffle. Eight damage for each one. Woo! The guys, the barbarians. Woo! Um. I can do that too, could give us a good damage with uh, knife. I could just play look what I found for more damage though. I guess I could play like super ultra or something, but I don't actually have it, do I? All right, who's got most presents? Tempest has some, knife has some. Knife has a pretty good number of presents. Let's give knife presents. Knife's been, like, doing great. She's just been kind of hanging out, doing her energy damage a lot. Hurting guys a lot. It's going to hurt guys a bit here. Does he have... No, he's taking seven here. Let's give guys a hit point here, because he's gonna take take some damage here. Overdo it, nice. And the servo gauntlet. And what's the Blavound gonna do? Move the countdown token. Oh gosh, who's the hero target with the lowest HP? Oh good, it's not guys. <laughs> that would have been kind of gross. If any hero character cards were dealt damage this way, move them to the other battle zone. Gross. Let's give guys the hit points. That's annoying. Makes us all move. Means guys isn't there to like use incap abilities. I think Medico is just gonna take the hit points. Oh no, we should. It's, a, it's better to hang on. I'm not gonna go back there to turn though. It's better to let Tempest use a power. Uh, Tempest can do some pretty good damage to Oblivion here. Digital Age is still better than that, I think. We can use an incap ability. Oh no, no one else is here. We could play Lightning Slash, though. Or we could draw a card. We're gonna play Lightning Slash anyway, so let's draw a card. Discard, discard, discard. Yeah, Tempest is doing some pretty decent damage here. And we'll just use Hailstorm. Hey, Lightning Slash is back. Oh no, the non villain target with the lowest. That's Tempest. Womp. Well, at least Oblivion is leaving. Uh, which means, yes, I want to use a power now. I want to give guys a power. And we're going to use the hair dryer. And hit Oblivion for 15. And boss for 14.
And random says absolute zero. Yeah, second battle zone. We get some lucky break card plays and stuff, so. Bloven's at four, which means boss is going to heal up. Oh, you know what? Can we punch a Bloveon and destroy him? So that we destroy an ongoing card? Yes, we super can. That's hilarious. Uh, we still have Orchestrate the Voice. We can use, we can give out a thing. Give out a card draw to someone else. So what does Absolute Zero have? Kind of needs a card draw, doesn't he? Hey. So I don't want to, I want to actually hit. I want to use this to kill a Bilbaon. I don't have that perfect assassin card, whatever it's called, the boss execution. That would be perfect. I actually can't do it. I can't do it. Oh my gosh, I can't do it. There's no environment target. We need knife to have drawn a card instead. Because maybe we get a card that we can do it with. I want to be able to use this to destroy the ongoing card. I guess we can just let guys retcon the ongoing card. That's fine. I guess that's fine. Just excited about my other thing. What's my... I have two card plays? Oh, I have two card plays with Overdo It. I don't think it matters, though. I don't think it matters. So, we play this and we discard the top card of this Scion deck, but there's not going to be a Scion deck, so that's a Bloveon's deck, and that's bad. We should use Energy Burn instead. Fascinating stuff. Bloveon will flip and not be destroyed. He can't. He won't flip. He will be destroyed. He will be destroyed. You have saved the multiverse. And this says, when you would win the game, flip this card instead. So Bloveon does get destroyed uh, if we destroy him. He is on the third page, so he does get destroyed. Problem is, we're one damage short on the Servo Gauntlet. So, it's fine though, because we can retcon. It's fine. Boss is here. Boss wants to do things. This is the only way the countdown moves, is cards like this now, because Voss doesn't move the countdown himself, but the 9,999 damage is probably a th problem that we want to not have, so. Um, we could play another Conduit Blade if we use that. We could also, this is like really good damage now. Three and three. Hey, I drew another copy of Redcon. Guys would like to play a card. He can play Redcon. He can get rid of both of these, because he has two Redcons. Alright, then what do we want to play? Uh, we could open presents. Oh, except Tempest is gone. He lost his presence. Medico could get presence. He's got three. He could also play Aya oh, yeah, on, like, knife to do more damage and stuff. Um, guy's a barbarian. Or just do a one-shot with damage. Let's open presence for Medico. 
We could also do this. <gasps> uh, that's fun. Let's open Medico's presents. Ooh. Hit points. I want Lucky Break to not die. Hit points for all. Each hero character card other than Dr. Medico can either regain or blah, blah, blah. Regain three hit points or use a power, which is the same thing. Uh, guys can use a power. He can shoot the hairdryer. Absolutely. I don't think he has a redirect right now, does he? No, from the brink. Okay. I mean, Absolute Zero could use his power. He's fine. Uh, knife could use a power. She could do a big punch for four damage. Pretty good. Good job, knife. You're doing great. Uh, guys wants to use deal wants to deal damage plus seven damage. All right. There's also healing happening. Do I want to use a power now? Uh, I guess Mucka Knight Ultra Strike is 5 damage. It's probably the best that I've got going right now. And Knife can deal herself 2 Psychic damage for extra card plays. That seems like a good idea. Okay, I do not want to move to the first battle zone. That would be silly. Nature's Compulsion. I guess that, like, gets tokens on it, but there's, like, literally nothing happening over there. If we swap this out, can we, like, blow it up before it goes off? I think so. Seems likely. We have Lucky Break and, like, a whole bunch of stuff going on. I think we're probably okay. We get to use a power that gives everyone a power. So, yeah, that's okay. Guys just, like, does it right now. <laughs> So yeah, I guess we can flip her medic, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's use a power. Let's do six damage to Voss. This is just ridiculous. Medico is just enabling foolishness to the highest degree. Uh, I wish Absolute Zero could do anything. He, he needs to like play a card. We have so many cards. Everyone can draw cards. Prevent the next damage. Continue preventing damage to guys. Sure. And give everyone hit points. I don't know. We already use the powers that we want to use, so. They're also getting free card play, so Voss is probably dead this turn. If we hit one shot, that's it. Also, I get to use a power. Uh, I guess I like hit boss for five damage. The Mecha Knight Ultra Strike has been like the weakest thing in the game, but hey, five damage is five damage. It's pretty, pretty solid. Also, every man does 20 damage to win the game before that. So, yeah. 
Okay. GG. GG, boss. Is your picture going to disappear, or are you still going to be here? That's the question we all want to ask. All want to ask and answer. No, he's here. All right, everyone. The credits are going to roll. But make sure to tune in on Thursday to Kickstarter. Is this our last window? Yeah, it is. Credits, but also click here. Click the link in the chat and give a notification. Click the button here, notify me on launch. We'll send you an email. You can be one of the first backers. It's gonna be great. And yeah, we're super excited about Earth Prime. The gameplay is super great. The game looks really great. The art that we're getting made for it is awesome. Let's just pull up something else here because I love you all and I want you to see it. Like the Raven, right? She's so cool. The Raven incapacitated? Yeah. Like the Raven, the Raven, but she's so awesome. I don't want her to be in kept, but now we need her to be alive not in kept. Look at this Raven art. Like, how good is that? How good is that? It's amazing. So, back the Kickstarter so you can have this, right? It's great. I'm into it. You want to fight Oblivion with these heroes, right? Yeah, she's still alive here. She's still alive, but she's not doing great. <laughs> she's not doing great, but the artist who made this is great. Kelsey Phillips. So yeah, we got some great stuff coming up for all of the heroes and villains of Earth Prime. Um, and we need your help to make it, especially like the variants and the mini expansions. Like that's even more tons of art that we need to make. Um, and so you know, for the variants, it's just programming one more card, but the art, it's like all new arts. So it's quite a lot. So we need your help to get all that artwork made um, and get, you know, it's getting money to these artists who are paying for their work. So it's not like the money's just going into the world. It's going to, you know, help these artists uh, with their own lives and everything. So it's all good. So check out the Kickstarter on Thursday, not tomorrow, like Sparky Wolf says, but two days from now. I guess it's tomorrow for Hankroyd. So there you go. Uh, Hankroyd asks, did you begin to work on the game outside the arts? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we are we've been working on programming already, uh, as well as some of the UI. Um, and so, yeah, it's uh, it's coming along, and we're excited to show you where we're at. We're going to be doing dev streams on the Kickstarter uh, as we've done before and everything. And yeah, Logic Dolphin wants to know, when is Jagged Earth coming out? Someday. Multiplayer is coming soon too for Spirit Island, so don't worry. All right, so here we are at the end. It is two environments destroyed. I feel like so much more environments got destroyed, but actually only two. Only five heroes in capped. The Sentinels were not even, they didn't even get a turn. They got in capped. We lost Bunker and Mainstay and Tempest and the Harpy. Did we lose a Tempest? I don't even remember. Oh, no, we lost that. That was the last one. We lost Tempest at the end. Right. But, and Absolute Zero was there just to be like victory lap. <laughs> But yeah, I think Bunker and Mainstay and Harpy started the game, and Tempest also... Tempest doesn't start the game, right? Tempest replaced one of these. Mainstay, I think. But Dr. Medico rocked the whole game and got the combo with guys that was super cool, and Knife was most of the game as well. So, Rook City destroyed. Yeah, I mean, that's that's canon, right? So, there you go. 
we destroyed all the scions and Voss. So that was mostly because we were trying to flip the shield and it took forever. So we had nothing to do but to hit the scions. But yeah, there you go. That was pretty fun. Um, I'm looking forward to playing more Oblivion with Earth Prime, though. Not going to lie. I've done it on the tabletop, but I haven't played it in digital yet. But actually, in the beta version, I could. So maybe I will for testing purposes on my own. But we'll probably demo that soon enough. So thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the Kickstarter on Thursday. And we are doing more Sentinels. More Sentinels for you. Oh, yes. I have to take Sprecule's points before we go. I have beaten OA. So the points go to Hoopa2. Congratulations. You have received all the points from Sprecky Wolf and others. All right. Have a good night, all. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.